This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? We welcome you here to the Jack Conley Wellness Center and the campus of CCBC Catonsville for the IAABO Board 23 Challenge, a matchup here to start off our five games is the Catonsville Comets against the North County Knights. Both teams that are on 1-1 to start the season. They're going to get that O away from them today. The Ron Style here with Alexander Johnson on the camera. Editing work has done a magnificent job. And the tip off out of bounds is going to go to North County to start off as it tipped out of bounds. North County started their season last evening. Losing to Chesapeake and Arundel County, 51-43. Both teams reside in the MPSSA 4A region. Back over the crossover inside to Wilkerson. He puts it up and it did not go. The rebound goes over to Scroll of Catonsville. The Comets are in their road jerseys, even though their campus is about five minutes away. And that one goes in there from Tree Holmes, the senior. Puts the Comets up 2 nothing. Wilkerson brings it up. Drives his ballot, passed it back. Dunphy drives now his ballot, and he is fouled. You see, he was fouled in the act of shooting. And he was, and he's coming up to shoot two. First game of five here on the Dice Winning Network. Coming up after this one is uh, C. Milton Wright up against North Carolina out in uh, the Eastern Shore coming up. First shot did not go. Catonsville played a opponent that will be here later on today, Oakland Mills, to start the season down in Howard County, and Oakland Mills took care of Catonsville. Catonsville team that has new coaching, Coach Dennis Kahn, in his second game as the Comets' new head coach. As another Comets, they drive it out, scroll coast to coast, did not go, and the ball back over to North County. North County started the season ranked last season, and 14-11, they ended the season. That one drives and it goes in there for Sean Lilly. And it's a 4 nothing game early. Turned over. What a hustle by Wilkerson to get it. And the ball coming back up the court now for the Knights. And a bump and foul. Second team foul against the Comets. Nice hustle early. You got to give credit to the uh, North County Knights. They're able to get it done here in this one early. Wilkerson. Pass it inside to Loman. Loman was sandwiched in the middle. Was able to keep. And a foul against the Comets again. That 13 foul already. As we're taping this, a lot of action going on in the D.C. area involving Baltimore teams, including St. Francis at the Gonzaga Challenge. That's a three. And that's an air ball there from uh, Ballard. And the rebound back over to the Comets. They're trying to bring it up to court now. That's a three. That one did not go, and it goes out of bounds. North County gets it back. Lilly will inbound for the Knights. And both teams reside in the MPSSA 4A region, so... Two teams always could see each other again down the road in the playoffs, so you never know how that goes. That's a three. That's onions there for Sean Lilly. And it's a 6-2 game. The crossover by Holmes inside. The layup is good. There by Scroll. Scroll has all four points so far for the Comets. Drive, and a foul is called. Wilkerson will be shooting a pair. 
North County head coach, Tremont Johnson. And this senior Layton group. Trying to make some noise down at Anne Arundel County. The ball will be inbounded, will not be uh, shooting attempts. Old Mill, best team down there. We've seen them doing the Tunnel Fish and Fall League action, and it was indeed impressive. Back over. Edwards had it briefly. Gives it up. Drive inside, blocked away. As Wilkinson was trying to go in, it was tapped out by North County. The Comets gets it back off the turnover. Stolen, drive inside, lays it in by Lilly. Lilly with seven. With eight points for the Knights and another turnover. Lilly's hustling today. Sandwich and wasn't able to be saved a foul against North County as Davis had the turnover. He was trying to bring it up for the Comets. And it just wasn't enough. And go with the scroll. Kenny off the bench, had it briefly. Swings it back over again. Davis inside and it gets the roll. So it's a two point game now for the uh, North County Knights. Back over. Crossover dribble. Edwards had it. Gave it up to Ballard. Ballard pulls up and spins it in. That was nice there. A nice two. Swings it back over. Kicks it. Almost turned over and the ball tapped out of bounds. Going to stay with Catonsville. Four nine here left in the first quarter and a uh, ten six game for North County. Roll brings it up. Davis pulls back and did not get on as it was caught by Ballard. He brings it up for the Knights and their white jerseys. That's a three. That one hits off the back of the arm. No good. And the ball goes to Catonsville. Substitutions coming in for North County here. Both teams in search of their first win early here in public school play. It started Wednesday. We'll be talking about matchups throughout. Lake Clifton is one. They're 2 0. In the Baltimore City play. A travel, and the ball goes back to North County. Talking about that doing out five telecast games here today on the Dice Funny Network and into that. A travel, and the ball goes back to Cadenceville now. So two traveling calls on each team. With 341 left here in the first. North County holding on to a four-point advantage here, 10-6. Now it's number five, number Trying to get it off the knee. Cadenceville will keep it. Catonsville right across the street here from uh, CCBC Catonsville. We all know about that Comets girls team. Five second call and North County gets the ball back off of the unforced error. Silver will inbound for the uh, Knights. Back over. And a travel, so walking has been an issue so far for both teams. And this is the referees' tournament. They're gonna they're gonna get it right. They're gonna call out of it <laughs> here in uh, this one. And I want to thank him so much for having us come on out, and letting us know about this event here in Baltimore County. 
Back over. Not that far away from the campus of UMBC as well. I got that new arena over there. Holmes kicks it over to Davis. Ah, oh, off the hands. And a turnover. Actually, not a turnover. They said the ball will stay with uh, Comets. That is a turnover there. Nice hands by Wilson, the sophomore, to get the steal. And it is. Stepped out of bounds. Drive over, scroll, driving, trying to go coast to coast, and the foul is called before the shot attempt. So that will be the third team foul against North County. As you know, they say it was. Yep, not in the act of shooting, which we thought. Looking to inbound is Mark Brady. He has it in, swings it over to Holmes now from Davis. Jumper, that one is good there by Kevin Stroh. KJ is looking good here so far. Perez, senior drive, shoots, and got the roll off the back. How about that? And still a 12-8 advantage here for North County. Turned it over. Wilson up and it did not go and two shots coming up here for Edwards. Nice hustle so far by North County. Two shots here for Edwards. First one did not go, fun and miss. And miss. Check out the Dice Running Network now. Films. We lay this one up. Before these is, of course, the Delaney Archbishop Curly JV matchup. First game in the JVN. And it was a good one indeed. Oh, a save. Back over and puts it in. There is Wilson. So the Comets saved the ball, but it gained right into Wilson's hands of uh, North County. And it's a six point advantage. Break up the court. All the way, oh man, a miss there by Holmes. And the rebound went over to Silver. Back over to Edwards. Edwards blocked away. Here comes the Comets. Holmes, drive, got it in there. Holmes had it in from KJ. And it's 14 to 10. 145 here left in the first. It's been a very good first quarter so far. Oh, off the hands, out of bounds. That ball will go to Catonsville. The Comets. North County both trying to get their first win of the season. Catonsville will get Delaney a foul off the ball against uh, North County. They will get the Baltimore County favorite this year, Delaney. And the uh, Delaney Lions looking good. A uh, young core. So not that many seniors on that team. And we will get Delaney down the road here in January at the Maris Academy Mixer. So right now, Catonsville trying to get it done here. Ball in the air. Woo, real close. Oh, there, that's backcourt. That's backcourt. Thought Brady had got enough out of the backcourt, but he was not able to, and uh, Silver will actually he was looking for the inbound the other way instead, Henson got it and he brings it up as Perez gets it for North County Silver swings it back over to Wilson offensive foul So it looks like when Uncle Mo is trying to get on the night side, it's a turnover, a foul, or traveling call that, that, that goes against him. And it's keeping Catonsville within striking distance here in, in this one so far. Inbounds there by Davis. Gives it up. 
to Holmes. And another turnover, a high pass, Lily. And no. Over the back foul. One more foul already against North County. It's going to be uh, the one and one. Actually, both teams. Another turnover, Lily. Off the glass, couldn't get it in. Lily snatched it back away. Popped in the air. And now Davis got a hold of it. And it will be the 17th foul against North County at the one minute mark of the first quarter. So the uh, one and one is in effect at the one minute mark already. And two more fouls, it'll be in effect for North County. So we expect the second quarter to be a lot of free throw shooting coming our way here. A lot of free throw shooting. First shot, got it. All net there by Davis. Second shot here coming up to uh, cut the lead to two for Catonsville. Back on miss. Up in the air. North County gets it off the off at Ballard. Oh, off the ground. Davis was trying to hustle for it for Catonsville, but not there. Perez off the knee. Swings it back over. Drive is Ballard. Floater goes in. Jaden Ballard, the senior, gets it in there and puts the lead back up by five. Swings it over. Davis with it. Kicks it back over. That's a three. That one did not go for Holmes. And Wilson with it. Back over is Edwards. Edwards kicks Perez. Back over to Edwards again. Kicks, shoots for Perez. That one's been out, and that's the quarter. So after one here, North County is the home team, and they are up by five over Catonsville. And here in the first quarter, it's been a up and down affair, uh, a game that North County has not trailed so far. Comets all within striking distance, however, but the foul situation, as you see on the scoreboard, is huge because North County has committed seven fouls, so Catonsville will be at the line. Catonsville has a foul to give before the one and one will come into effect for N North County. So we expect the second quarter to have a lot of free throw shooting in it. We expect a slow down pace in this one as well. So that's the second quarter about to commence. That's what we have on tap coming up here in this first matchup of five in the IAABO Board 23 Challenge here at the Conley Wellness Center here in the campus of CCBC Catonville. Cardinals having a nice building. It's a dome-like setting. Mind you of a Thunderdome, Superdome kind of setting. So very nice gym. We thank all the hospitality from the board and from Catonsville Community College as well. So second quarter is about to begin here. The Mars die and Alexander Johnson, AJ, here on the camera work, doing a magnificent job as he always does as we begin the second quarter. And I think the clock has not been set. So the clock is about to be reset to eight minutes to the second quarter. And uh, we're going to get on the way here with the second. Right, we have it back up. And Brady has the ball for Catonsville. Try to get it inside, they do. That one did not go there for McMahon. But the offensive rebound does go, and Davis puts it on the deck, trying to get a jump ball. And we see what that one is all about. And North County will get it. They call a foul, so it's a 16 foul against Catonsville, so the one and one is going to be in effect quite a bit here in the second quarter, as we was telling you in between quarters there. Perez brings it up. Back over. 
swings it over. There's Lily. Had a nice first quarter. A lot of hustle, several steals. And that's a wide open three from Dunfram. And that one didn't go. Tried behind the back pass, and that was turned over. Back comes Davis and Catonsville. The layup is good for Holmes. All of a sudden, we got a three-point game here. Perez brings it up. Swings it back over. Inside is Loman. We had it briefly back over. Now the no problem. And that one is a foul. So both teams are at seven fouls apiece. The one and one is in effect for both sides. And uh, Perez will be coming out to shoot that one and one right now. First game of five, and coming up after this one is C. Milton Wright out of Harford County up against the Eastern Shore's own North Carolina, which got to the 2A finals last year and played Lake Clifton. And right down there at the Affinity Center. That one bounced off the backboard, and the rebound goes over to the big fella, 40. Back over is Holmes. He brings it up, swings it over to McMahon. Davis back to Holmes. Swings, floater, and it goes. How about that for Brady? We got a one-point game as Catonsville has come out good here in the second quarter. And there's a one-point advantage for Anne Arundel County's North County Knights. Turned it over. Here comes Catonsville. They can take the lead. And a foul is called. And 40, he's coming out to shoot the one and one here. See how he does. First shot, bricked it. Second shot here coming up. Second shot for the tie for Catonsville. That one didn't go either. Back on. And finally, the rebound goes to Ballard. Brings it out for North County. Now comes Edwards. Edwards as a sophomore, getting a lot of time here. Inside is Lohman. And a foul is called against Catonsville. And First shot here. Front end miss. Nice rebound there by McMahon. Holmes brings it up now for the Comets. Brady was looking to shoot. That's it. Oh, Holmes got blocked. And the ball's going to stay with the Comets. So. So Brady will inbound here for Catonsville. Oh, turned it over. And a straight Wilkerson all the way, lays it in. Nice two. Look at Holmes go, and he turned it over again. Wilkerson gets it again, back over to Edwards. It's been out on him. And another pass that was dangerous, but the Comets do get this one. Holmes keeps his footing, did not go, tried to tap it in the air, and the rebound not there. Fast break right the other way comes North County. Ballard kicks it back over to Edwards. He sets it up now. I see my apologies. It's not Edwards. That is Wilkerson that sets it up. Ballard back over. Edwards from downtown. Front end miss. Rebound finally goes over to Catonsville. Fast break. Holmes one on one blocked right there by Ballard. Nice defense and a bad foul against Catonsville. And coming up is uh, a 4:45 left. North County shooting that one on one again. The ninth team foul against Catonsville. The road team that is about five minutes away right across the street.
So Wilkerson shooting a one and one first shot. Goes in all net. Second shot, goes in two. So props to North County. Catonsville got on a run, got in the game within one, and North County has been able to hold serve and able to keep the lead 20 to 15. And back to the action. Holmes with it. Holmes drives, and he walked. He used them foot, and he walked big time. And the ball right back over to North County now. 4.30 here left in the first half. And over's Ballard. Wilkerson, he's driving. Lost it on the floor. Back, oh, tried to get a steal and a foul. And Kylie Davis will be shooting the one and one. Both teams now at nine fouls each. And the next foul for each will be the one the one and one will be turned into the double bonus for both. Davis. Hits the first. Substitution in the game. As Ben Hall comes in. Simulating group as well for uh, the Comets. They have no, no underclassmen under a junior on the team. So this is a very junior C Lane team back on miss. Rebound in there. Puts it up. Did not go. The ball's everywhere. Finally, Edwards gets it up the court. Right to Lilly. Lilly gets blocked. And then Comets will keep the ball. Going back on their side of the court. How about that hustle there? A lot of fight there and got it in. So a four point advantage. As the Comets and a foul off the ball against North County. And we are in the double bonus now for Catonsville. They're coming up to shoot two. So for the next four or five, both teams in all likelihood to be shooting the double bonus here. Second shot, got it. Davis hits both. As Henson will bring it down. Back inside. The floater, what a move there by Edwards to get it in the basket. And now a six point game. Back over the other way. Oh, McMahon had it in and it didn't go. Davis back over to Brady. And how about that? North County gets it back. Off of the turnover. Swings it over as Perez. That's a three. Wilson couldn't get it in. Nice rebound grab there by Ben Hall. Swings it over to Brady. Brady's doubled. Nice defense by North County. Back over. McMahon from behind is fouled and
first shot from McMahon. And didn't go. Second shot. Got it. One of two. A three-point game. 3.06 here left in the second. Swings it. That's a three. Silver. Didn't go. And the rebound to McMahon. Was looking to pass. He does the haul. Back over to Davis. Davis brings it up. And he lost the handle. But McMahon was trailing. Got it back. Hall. Dish. Kicks it back. Brady shoots it. That's the air ball. Rebound over to Wilson. Here comes North County. And that's a turnover. Hall. Trying to keep the dribble. He does somehow. Hall drives to the basket. Oh, the glass it in. Hall puts it in. It is a one-point game for the Comets. And a timeout by the Knights. Oh, baby. The action has turned up within the last two minutes. And we got a very close game here between these two teams. We'll take a quick pause for the calls for voices. Back to uh, game action. What a furious last two minutes of the game that was. And uh, North County inbounding the ball now. Only up by one. Like I said, they have been able to control the game for a majority of it. And the lead is only 2-1 right now. And Silver will inbound it for them. Back over to Perez, and he brings it up the court. Perez against Hall. Back over to Edwards. Edwards drives, pulls up, and goes in. Nice offensive exchange there for the New North County. McMahon doubled. Back over the hall, off the glass, missed it. It was tapped, and North County gets it back. Edwards comes up with it, passes it up the court, and he got almost picked off. Edwards gets it, though. And it goes Perez's way, back. Edwards from downtown, tipped and missed. Inside, and there is Wilson, and he puts it home, the 6'4 senior. Excuse me, the 6'4 sophomore with it. Hall, Brady, McMahon pulls up, didn't go. Big fella, and that ball's everywhere. Ball's still everywhere. Finally, Wilson gets a hold of it for North County. Edwards, Perez. Perez gets it back. Edwards pulls up this time. Didn't go, and in the hands of the Comets, McMahon and Nathan McMahon, that is, and brings it up to court. Davis drives, no good. Ball out of bounds, back over. Brady. And out of bounds. Ball's going to stay with Catonsville on their end. McMahon inside. Blocked from behind by Henson. And the ball will stay with the common. 16 seconds left on the shot clock. 38.8 left on the game clock. Trying to get it in. Back over. Oh, 
Holmes back. Swings it. Holmes gets it back. Back over to Brady. In the corner is Hall. Inside. Shot clock violation. The 22. 25 seconds left here in the quarter. North County looking to end the half off pretty well and retain a five point lead. And a foul. North County coming up to shoot two. Good news for Catonsville is they will have a chance to get back to court, maybe get a two to end the half. First shot. Front end missed there by Wilson. Second shot here. That one goes not, not. McMahon with the rebound. Up the court, balls everywhere. Holmes got to do something. He gets it up to Brady at the buzzer, no good. So at the half, it's 26-11 for North County of Anne Arundel County up against Baltimore County's Catonsville. We'll be back with the second half here on the Dice Money Network coming up after this. Stay tuned now. Second half about to get underway of uh, North County and uh, Catonsville in the first ever IAABO 24 23 challenge here on the Dice Winning Network. Alexander Johnson, AJ, on the camera work. Nice I am the boss, Die, and it's so great to be with you here for this one. First game of five here between these four A8 teams one North County and Baltimore. And the Ronald County Skipping in Catonsville from Baltimore County. And we got the reversal here in the second half. North County has been able to hold a lead in this game. That three was long and short from Dumfrey. And the ball back over to the Comets. Both teams are at 0 and 1, so someone's trying to get their first W of the season. That swings over. Back over to Holmes. Fine pass. Scroll haven't heard much from him. Didn't hear much from him in the second quarter. Hustle out of bounds, and uh, North County will get the ball back. Old Mill, one of the favorites in Anne Arundel County this year. Looking good so far. They got a lot of non-conference matchups coming up, matchups with Logo. Uh, and North County will see them later this year. Well, what a crossover move. Drive to the hoop. And Wilkerson, a sophomore, is coming up to shoot two. Catonsville, the Baltimore County Division Two, in 4A class and MPSSAA later on in the year. The likes of uh, Delaney and Mifford Mill, Newtown, or Woodlawn. We will see Woodlawn here later as the first one hits off the back on. Baltimore County wide open this year. I would say, even though Delaney is the favorite. Baltimore County is definitely wide open, folks, and it's going to be fun to watch throughout the year. It's fast break. Oh, what a move. What a pass. Ah, didn't get the finish there. And the ball back over to North County. We are still made it 26-21. No scoring yet here in the second half. That's a three. That one missed front end, Ben Lilly. And here comes Catonsville. Coming up the court. Spin move. Swings it back over. And look at Scroll was trying to get it. Back over. That's a three from Holmes. That one tipped and missed. Rebound back over to North County. And Catonsville a year ago shot a lot of threes. This year trying to find a new identity, new head coach. But senior and junior led in team. Swings over. Inside. 
Jumper from Lilly. Oh boy, went over to Bim. Back over. Here comes Holmes, the other way for Catonsville, and he lays it up the first points of the second half. And a three point game for the Comets. Down they are. North County here. Trying to rebound off the loss against Chesapeake and Arundel County. Here on Friday nights. That's a three from Lilly. Top of the key. Bounced and miss. Back over is Catonsville. Inside and shooting two. Ben Hall, a senior, coming up to shoot a pair. Hall shooting. First shot. In and out. Check out Flex on this Monday night. Yeah, episode 211. Give you sports how you want it when you need it. 10 p.m. on the WBJR Sports Network. And Flex on Facebook Live page. This week's guest, one of the producers here, does the offseason as well. The WBGR, the good old Dale, will be on with us. We'll be talking NFL, NBA action as well. So the Flex on every Monday night, 10 p.m. on the WBGR Sports Network. And uh, Flex on Facebook Live page. Edwards right now for North County. Trying to drive. Up and in. That one didn't go. A nice rebound by Scroll. He brings it up to Hall. Hall back over to Scroll. Scroll all the way off the glass and in. What a play that is. And we are tied at 26. 26 all game. As North County has been stymied here in the second half. They have not been able to score yet here in the third. Drive from Ballard and he puts it in. That cuts that. And again, North County has not trailed in this game yet and they continue not to. What a matchup here. Scroll to Hall, back over to Scroll. Swings it back over. Inside. Oh, Davis couldn't finish it. Let's see, that was Holmes, excuse me. And finally, North County gets the rebound out of there. Wilkerson kicks it. Pull up jumper. Oh, that missed on the front end. Scroll with the rebound. He lost it. And how about Wilkerson? And look for it and puts it in. And it's a four point lead for North County now. Swings it back over. By a smart timeout indeed by uh, Dennis Cum and the coaching staff for Catonsville. Ha just about the halfway mark of the third quarter. It's a 30 to 26 game for North County. And the Knights and Comets both trying to get off of that snide, trying to get to their first win of the young season for them. First week of public school action here in the Baltimore area. And in our matchups today, we will see eight public schools for the first time. These are two. C. Milton Wright and North Carolina. Mervo later, Woodlawn and Oakland Mills and City College in Baltimore City. So we've seen those teams. Down the road here in December, Patterson, Lake Clifton, and Polly, as we say, in Baltimore City play coming up for the next couple of weeks as well. So, and Emerson as well. A lot of action coming your way. In the January, we're going to be red hot with you. That's a three. That one missed. Back over comes the Knights. Off the fast break. A lot of dribbling. That's a three from Silver. That's a hairball. Ball back to... Catonsville. Comets in their road jerseys. The dark blue and the yellow and the trim. North County the Knights in their white home jerseys. Double team. Back over to Hall. Swings it over. Scroll was looking to do something. He does something now. Could not get inside to do what he want. Oh, oh just I can't even explain that tone from Ballard there. And Catonsville will get it back. 30 seconds on the shot clock, 3.32 left here in the third. Drive, floater, that one didn't go, tipped and missed. And the ball back to North County. Wilkerson with it. Looks in the Edwards, the young backcourt. Inside, that one didn't go. Back comes Holmes, 
The other way in fast break. Foul before the shot against North County. That's the uh, ninth second team foul. And the underlayment of the upper hoop is uh, our next matchup coming up here on the Dyes Pony Network is uh, North Carolina and uh, C. Milton Wright. That should be an interesting one coming up. Inside. Blocked away. Back comes the Knights. Wilkerson. Long distance pass. Inside. That one was no good from Silver, and it's going to stay with the Knights here. 22 seconds on the shot clock, 251 on the game clock here in the third quarter. Back over, caught it there from Henson. Edwards, shot clock at 16. Edwards drives, and he's shooting too. Second team foul against Catonsville. First shot in and out. Second shot here. That one goes in. One of two and the lead back to five for the Knights. Bringing it back up. Back over, another chance for Holmes here. Swings it. Back over. Swings it again. One more time, why not? Inside, trying to keep the handle. Holmes for three. And it missed off the side. Back over to North County. Pass up the court, inside a block, and a foul as well as Silver will be coming to shoot a pair. First shot, got it, on net. McMahon, 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 coming back in the game. Second shot, got it. Both of them go. It's a seven point lead here for uh, North County. They had a lead of eight at one point and they can match that if Catonsville don't do something about it here. Trap inside, oh man, Scroll had it where he wanted it but couldn't get it in. Three on one fast break until the trailers come for Catonsville. That one tipped the miss all the class but the put back is in. Oh. Oh, Michi Wilson has given North County their largest lead of the game at nine. What a back dump. Nice pass. It was almost picked off by Silver, but uh, Scroll and company will keep it for the Comets. Ninety seconds here left in the third. Hell for three. Oh, spin out. In and out. Back comes North County and uh, Perez. Swings it over, Edwards. Back over, inside, swings. And that one's no good. Fast break up the court. Scroll slams it down with one hand. One minute left, 35-28. And Perez gets it now for North County, brings it up. 
Swings it back over to Edwards. Edwards swings inside to Wilson. Wilson got the chair pulled and a foul. 14 foul now against Catonsville. Unlike the first quarter where the fouls was a huge problem early in the game, that has not been the case here in this third quarter. So fouls a little bit more manageable. And the free throw line will not become someone's best friend here in the fourth quarter. It might take a tad while for that to happen. Edwards now has it for North County. He shoots for three. He's been trying to aim it from downtown. Has not quite been there yet for him today. Fast break up the other way. Blocked. And a nice takeaway from Henson. Perez. And you can slow it down as the coaching staff is telling. Perez and the North County team. 13 seconds left here in the third. Holding sir, back over. Inside is Reyes. That's a jumper from Perez. Hall throws it up. Will not get to the other side of the court. So after three, as North County at one point took a nine point lead, they are only up now by seven, 35 to 28. They've been able to control the pace of the game. Like we said, coming up after this one will be the 2A finalists from a season ago in the North Carolina Must Bulldogs from the Eastern Shore up against Seat Milton Wright, the Mustangs. The Mustangs are ranked in the top 20 in the Varsity Sports Net poll, the favorite in Hartford County to get the job done there. We will see what they do shortly. And after that one, Mervo and Calvert Hall will meet up with each other. The Mustangs last year got a huge win against Mount Carmel at home. They are looking to build off that. And that one should be a good one coming up. And then our fourth matchup, an anticipated one. The Woodlawn Warriors open up their season against the Scorpions of Oakland Mill out in Hartford County. And Deshaun Eaton, the senior, has been the talk of Howard County. And we will end out with a team we have seen a couple of times already this year, the Crystal Academy Falcons. We'll go up against the City Knights. First meeting we will get to them. The Knights trying to rebound off of the loss they had against Mervo to open up the season on a Wednesday, December the 5th. So they're trying to rebound from that one. They're ranked in the top 15 in both polls of the Barbon Center and Falsity Sports Net. So the fourth quarter begins. The Comets here are trying to get their first win as well as North County. Comets will see Delaney up next. Inside, scroll, he travels. A walk and the ball back to the ball back over to North County. Edwards brings, excuse me, Wilkerson brings it up. Swings it back over. That's a three. Oh, that's an air ball. That one will go back to uh, Catonsville now. Going for the missed shot. Comets driving down. Squirrel in his, in his hand, back over to 32. He drives all the way to the basket in it. How about that? Caleb Bowens with the drive there, wearing his 13 hour program, but he's wearing 32. And that's another turnover. Back over to Scroll. He likes to throw it down, and he did again. It's a three-point lead only for North County now. And again, the Comets got the game into a tie. The North County went on a run, and now back over is Catonsville trying to make a run. So it's been a game of runs. A run, though, that Catonsville has not been able to get the lead. They're looking to change that as we have a full timeout. And we're going to take a little pause for the calls.
Back to game action. It's 7.03 left in this one. Catonsville trying to make a run. They've gotten a the game within three. And the inbounds go to Lilly. And over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson brings it up. Back over. Swings it. That's a three. That one didn't go. Offensive rebound. Was a flash shot clock. Owens got it back. Scroll again. Back over. And he lays it in. He has taken over the contest. For the comments here, and it's a one-point game. North County here have held a grip in this one throughout. Drive off the glass and in. How about that one from Wilson? And a turnover. North County will get it back. Scroll was uh, trying to. Throw it in. He thought someone tapped it. They did not. And uh, that could be a costly turnover here for the Comets. And Wilson, as that's the 15th foul against the Comets. He's shooting up to shoot, coming up to shoot two. First shot. Not there. Not there. Second shot here coming up. Trying to get a four point lead. That one drops in. Four point game here for North County. So, like we said, every time Catonsville's tried to come up with some resistance, North County been able to hold them back. Crowell inside all the way to the basket. That one didn't go. McMahon, that one's down on the deck. That was almost four guys for that jump ball, and uh, North County will definitely win that one. There's enough hands in there to uh, last at least a half of a lifetime. And, uh, Wilkerson back over. Swings it over to Edwards. Back over to Wilkerson. Shot clock at 16. They're looking to cut. Wilson got it now. He's driving. He kicks it back over. That's a jumper there from Wilkerson. That one's spinned out. Offensive rebound to Lilly, and he puts it in. How about that? So the lead back to six now for North County. Back up the court here. All the way. Spin move. He got it stripped on him from Lilly. The steal artist here so far. Back over, inside. Do we count the basket? No, the basket will not count the foul was for the shot attempt. Back over, and a foul. So two shots coming up here. First shot, got it. Second shot, that one tipped and missed. Back over, drive inside. Owen oh, puts it in. Whoa, ho, ho. it's a five point game here, 41 36. Five minute mark left in this one. Swings it back over. Inside to Wilson. He's done a lot of work in there. Up, missed it. Second chance didn't go. Foul is called, and it's going to go against North County. Catonsville gets it back. Five point game. Thomas gets to get the basketball back. Passed it over. 
And almost lost a handle. Back over. Hall under the legs of McMahon and a turnover. North County gets it back. 4.37 left in this one. Bring it up the court here. That jumper, that one didn't go as well. And the ball back over to Catonsville. Scroll out. Kicks it over to Hall. Hall at the top of the key, off the screen. Swings back over. Kayla. Ooh, Owens couldn't get the finish. Back comes Ballard. He's got two on one fast break. It was turned over. Ball back the other way. Owens brings it up for the Catonsville Knight. Comments, excuse me. That one's out of bounds. And Catonsville's going to keep it. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Right at 359. Right at the halfway mark of the fourth quarter here. And what a what a competitive game. Owens, crossover, back over, swings it, Hall for three. Onions, a big time shot for him. It's a two point game. Let's see my man, Bill Aftery. There's a huge shot there. Turn to, oh, McMahon was able to get the steal. And kept his foot in bounds. Owens kicks it over. Go out for the lead. That one missed off the front. Rebound back over. Edwards all the way to the basket. And he lays it in as puts the lead back to four. Terrell back over the hall. McMahon. Ah, oh, man. Miscommunication. Hall was looking to get McMahon the ball. McMahon kind of stopped and was trying to see what the pass was communicating. And it went over his head. Ball back over to uh, North County now. 3.03 left in this one. Swings it back over. Passed over. Silver going up. He's bumped. And he's shooting a one and one. Might be shooting two as well, they say, as they end the after shoot. Well, North County's been much disciplined here in the second half. They. Um, Went over the foul limit in the first half. They only have three fouls committed against Catonsville here, while the Comets have eight fouls committed against North County here in the second half. First shot, front end miss. Second shot here. That front end missed too. Swings it. Back over. Owens with it. Little scroll out. Well drives. Puts up in the air high, no good. Didn't get the roll, but coming out to shoot too. Two shot foul coming up here. First shot here. Ah, oh, miss. Trying to get this lead back within a one possession game. Timeout by the Comets. In between timeouts, 2.32 left. 43-39. Um, North County here against Catonsville. Yeah, that's CCBC Catonsville Only Wellness Center. And, uh, full timeout by the Comets. So coming up after this one is uh, C. Milton Wright, the Mustangs, up against the uh, North Carolina Bulldogs from the Eastern Shore. So that should be 
a good one as well there. Class 3A and 2A, respectfully. Comets have not led in this game today. They've had chances where they've been either tied or within one or two. And they want to change that in this one. First shot here. That's the second shot. Excuse me. Offensive rebound on the scroll and a fresh shot clock. Off the screen. Owen shoots it. Didn't go. The tap didn't go in either. And a rebound over to Ballard. Wilkerson brings it up here for North County, trying to get that first win of the season. As they go back down and run a county play. Inside, Lilly couldn't get the finish. Scroll with the rebound. He, did he step out? He did. As he came out of the ball, he stepped down and the ball back to the Knights. Back over. Wilkerson. Pulls up, shoots. Off the glass, a miss. Rebound. Back over to Davis. And he lost it off the back. Wilkerson against Owens. Wilkerson all the way, and he's shooting up it. Knife team foul against the Comets here, and um, Wilkerson first shot in there. Pulls the lead to five now, 44-39. Second shot here. That one spins in. And we got a six-point game. Oh, boy, a turnover by the Comets. That's definitely not what you want to see. Wilkerson off the dribble, inside the floater. Got the roll, and that might be the one that gets North County their first win. Doubled, off the knee, a turnover, and a costly one. Four on two, fast break. Inside off the glass, and in for Cal Silver, and it increased the lead to 10. Comments has fought hard in this game, but North County has been able to control the pace and tempo. Count the basket and one there for Davis, though. He's saying not so fast. It ain't over yet. One oh eight left in this one. Three timeouts left for North County. One more remaining. For Catonsville. Got it. Time out. Final one for Catonsville. And as we come at you, 108 left in this one. 49-42 affair. 32nd time out for Catonsville. North County trying to even their record, get it to one and one. Catonsville trying not to go into Baltimore County play at a start of 0-2. Both teams again in class for it in PSSAA, so these teams will uh, meet maybe again down the road. You never know how that goes. and. Uh, First game of five here on the Die Swimming Network. Coming up. Oh, as you say, see Melton Light in North Carolina. 
pass it over to Wilkinson from Lilly. Back over to Lilly. He drives inside off the glass. And a foul, a tough team foul against the Comets, and that means the double bonus now is in effect. First shot. And Brick. Second shot here coming up. 54.6 left. Second shot. Got it. Eight point game. 54.6 left. Owens got to get it down the court. They got to do something. Back over. Inside. That one didn't go. Batted in the air. Ball going. And a foul is called. 44.3 left. North County coming up to shoot two. And uh, Knights uh, looking to get to one and one. They go back down to Anne Arundel County play. See the like of Old Mills. See the like of uh, Glen Burnie in Annapolis. We expect Annapolis to have a real good year. First shot here. Front end miss there by Lily. Second shot here. Got it. One of two in a nine point lead. Three possession game. Owens, oh, another turnover. Costly turnovers for a young, for a Catonsville team that's still trying to get used to their new head coach, trying to get used to everything. And um, wish them luck down the road in the season. Wilkerson and a foul. Foul against Brady. With two shots here. Wilkerson can put the Gatorade on ice and give North County a one and one record. I said again, lost their matchup against Chesapeake by eight. Second shot, spinned out. So it was a 10 point lead. Scroll back over. Brady for three. That one hits the back end. Ball out of bounds. Going to go to North County. Shot clock is off at 24.9. North County. And foul there. Edwards, the sophomore, is coming to shoot. Edwards here at the line. 10 point lead. Making it 11. Scoreboard will not show the competitiveness of Catonsville. They was in this game for the vast majority of it. Kind of broke down at the end, turnovers. Fouls, rebound back over, and that will do it. North County, the Knights will go to one and one here on the young season. And Catonsville, getting ready for Baltimore County play, will drop their first two in non-conference action. And they'll go to 0-2. So that's your final. 53-42 in the first game of the uh, IABO Board 23 Challenge here on the Dice Winning Network. We'll be coming back at you in a bit for North County, North Carolina, excuse me, and C. Milton Wright. So we say so long to you here for 
Alexander Johnson. I'm DeMars Dyer. We will see you coming up in our second match of Seatbelt Wright, North Carolina. So long. Back here, post game of North County win against Catonsville, and this is Coach Jermaine Johnson from North County. Coach, first of all, y'all look good today. I know you had a game last night with Chesapeake and Ronald County. What was the adjustments you made between today and last night? Oh, uh, we actually uh, played a lot more up tempo. Um, last night, uh, team slowed us down with their uh, their zone, so we definitely wanted to dictate it by playing a lot of full court, uh, utilizing our speed, our athleticism, because um, it seemed like that's how that's our trademark. Seemed like uh, Senior Sean Lilly was everywhere with the steals. Got a lot of key forced turnovers against Catonsville. What has, has his leadership done uh, to help you guys this year? Uh, by, well, by Sean being a returning senior, uh, he definitely knew what, and he knows exactly what I expect out, out of the team. Uh, and he definitely uh, he, he hones in on everything. He leads by example. And I uh, see notice that the, a lot of the guys, they follow his lead. So when they see his intensity going, uh, they seem to follow suit. and. We, we just look to uh, apply that pressure. No question about it. And uh, you guys going back down Anne Arundel County play. I know Old Mills, a team a lot of people talked about, but you guys have to play in the class for a. How did this matchup get you ready for down the road, February, playoff time? Oh, it definitely it definitely helps us out uh, just because we don't see a lot of size like that. Um, it's usually maybe one or two kids on, on each of the teams, but this team actually seemed to have about five or six players that was about 6'4 or taller. So um, I think they size their length definitely uh, definitely is going to prepare us because now we, can, we should be a little bit more adjusted to what other teams have when it comes to size. Um, and I, I think like just learning how to keep them off the boards, that definitely is playing a factor because we, that's something that we always predicate ourselves on is getting better on rebounding and our defensive status. And one more thing, he had a young backcourt there, 22 with um, Wilkinson and Edwards, 32. How key is their development is for this coming season for you guys? Uh, it, it definitely key. Um, they're going to play an intricate part this year. Um, they're youth. They're only sophomores. Uh, so they're, they're learning. They're learning on the go right now. Uh, they were on my JV team last year. Um, worked tr they worked tremendously in the offseason to get themselves to this level. Uh, and I think just – just them taking over at, at that guard position. They saw last year what my guards were capable of doing, and they definitely wanted to dictate and actually go above that. So they actually been they've been sponges to the game, like just absorbing everything that the coaching staff been giving them, and they just they definitely want to uh, hone in on getting better. Don't want to hold you up no more, Coach. Thanks again for chatting with us here on the Dice Wing Network, and good luck to you this year right, in Anne Arundel County play. No problem. And as you see there, Coach Johnson laying it out for you. The Win for North County, getting them to one and one back to Anne Arundel County play. Cadenceville dropped to 0-2. They will start Baltimore County play with Delaney coming up next week. So our next game here at CCBC Catonsville will be North Carolina. The Bulldogs going up against C. Milton Wright. We seen C. Milton Wright in the Tunnel Vision Fall League earlier in the fall. So we say so long to you for now. Check that out. Check all our Dice Play Network videos out and like our official Facebook page, Dice Sporting Network. For my man A.J. Johnson, Alexander Johnson, I'm the boss, Jai. We say so long to you. For now, we'll see you coming up here on the Dice Run Network down the road. This is Die Sporting Network.